So how do we solve this? Well, first thing we have to do is follow order of operations. So we move 256 to the other side, becomes a negative, and then we divide by 4. So what's 256 divided by 4? Okay, so we get negative 64. And then we have the square root of both sides. Remember, when we square root both sides, we get plus or minus the root of 64. And negative 64 can be written as 8 squared times negative 1. And the root of a square equals the base. So this equals plus or minus 8 times the root of negative 1. Remember, the root of negative 1 is i. That's what i is. So we, then we would write x equals plus or minus 8i. So there's two answers. x equals positive 8i and x equals negative 8i. How are imaginary numbers useful? Um, allows us to continue, whereas before we would just stop, we'd say there's no answers.